has that belief, he is a winner. There's no doubt about it. The 2011 Premier League champion. That is Gary Anson, and he beat Adrian Lewis in that final. And that was a rerun of that year's world final that Adrian Lewis got the better of Gary. So they've got previous. But also, in the Premier League, they've met each other five times in the league phase. And they've had three draws within that. And I think that's a telling factor. There's not a lot between these two. Will it be a moment of genius that, that wins it? Or even grabs a draw? Or will it be a miss from... For me, the player, I think it's the fact that one of them will pull something special out of the bag. What I am looking forward to is something that's going to be pacey, relentless, and I think that 60 is going to take hell of a hammer in. Well, and the 57 as well. Always a good bailout, especially when it gets you that one treble in that turn. You know, you don't want to have uh, a no treble turn. It's always a big opportunity for your opponent at this level. Sometimes just a one treble turn is a big opportunity. We'd be shaking our heads sometimes. The guy follows up with a 180. We're in big trouble. That's the table. 43. And if Adrian Lewis can beat Gary Anderson, we will move into the top four. Well, Adrian Lewis really is playing with all the confidence in the world after coming off. A brilliant win in the UK Open, averaged 109, and beating Terry Jenkins in that final. Dispatched RVB 9 2 along the way. What a rhythm, what a player. And perfect setup there, couldn't take out the 174, certainly left tops. Looking very good to hold his throw to open up this match. A slow start from Anderson. Probably not too bothered. Double top for Lewis. He there it is. The he Lewis. Perfect start. That's what Gary wanted to do. Well, yeah, this was the key. He always knew if he had a lackluster opening against the throw, it's definitely important to do that on your throw. I can't believe we waited over two minutes for the first 180. Oh, hello! The first two 180s, actually. Disappointed. When you start a leg on your throw with 180-81, you expect to be in front. Well, he just caught his fifth dart, caught the fourth dart there a bit, and who knows, might have been in, but it ended the uh, run for the perfect leg. And already, John, from the first leg, the pace has picked up. Oh, it's just exploded into the second leg. Although, as well as Lewis has played to leave 81 after 9, Anderson can get an 11 dart to hold his throw. Double top. There it is. He called it. 11 dart up. And we've already mentioned, John, haven't we, the fact that Gary seems to have this, this winning mentality back, and you could see it there. Well, it's nice when you're positive and, and you're feeling like you're a winner. You don't worry no matter how well the other guy plays. Especially when you have the mindset, hold my throw, hit 12 darters on my throw or, or better, and there's no way the guy could possibly be. Another start of the third leg in three 180s. It's, it's become clear to me here that you know a break is going to be a very rare thing in this match. Both exploding out of the gates on their throw. Early days, I know. But still. 16. Hey, you Just be looking for a turn if he misses. Slack dart. That's unusual. Well, he didn't even get under 100. So perhaps a 180 could shake up everything here. Still a 135 would be pressure. Well, nothing for Adrian to worry about with that. Triple 18, double 16 for the whole throw. We'll be returning. Okay, we want to pile some pressure on. Let your opponent know that they cannot miss. Well, I think he's, he still has that mindset. Okay, I'm going to have the throw next. I'm going to come out strong again. But it's double 16 just to clean this up now. 
This would be spectacular. It would be. It would have been. I just had the feeling he conceded the leg a little bit there. And sometimes when you get that vibe off your opponent, it becomes hard to actually hit that double yourself as the one ahead. Adrian Lewis was toying with him. Everyone just sort of relaxes a bit in the leg when you know, you think you know who's going to win it, and sometimes that causes problems. Adrian, I think, might be a little bit disappointed with that last start, as ridiculous as it may sound. The first two were perfect. Well, he was shown in the second leg that he needed a nine darter to break throw and so i guess he was looking for it here well that's the case if someone's hitting 12 or 11 on their throw then you do need a nine to break what a non-treble visit here or even the one that has effectively taken the darts for adrian lewis will stay there stays there perfectly as well what a great leg again from Adrian. And Gary starts on the 19s. He's getting a bunch, so this will be good. But still, it's Adrian favored to break. That leaves 89. We'll stay there. He's looking for 57. We've already seen this one by Peter Wright. And this way as well. Needs the ball, but he's moving to the left. Right at the move to the right. 94. Well, you see by Gary Anderson knew that the dart wasn't going in the minute he left, let go of it. Is this going in? Middle of the double 20. Well, you said one break of throw might do it, John. There's the break. Yeah, well, Anderson nowhere near the quality of leg on his throw as he had the first time around. And... Uh, Adrian exploits it right away. And I'd have to say, Adrian's at the top of his game in general. You know, he's, he's as good as he's ever been. Indeed, and his mindset will be feeling that way as well. When you win tournaments, no matter what tournament it is, that feeling of going into your next match, you think you're invincible. When you're playing like him, I can understand why he might well, think that. 40. He thought that was in. Well, Anderson trying very hard to get an opportunity well, against throw. He will have to finish 140 to get that break back. Because Lewis bound to be out otherwise after the next turn. He's got to go. Brilliant last start. Keeps the pressure on. AD knows that he will not be able to miss. Otherwise, surely Gary will clean up. What a great double eight in the blink of an eye. Adrian Lewis four, Gary Anderson one. Yeah, Adrian did a good job on that double eight. He kept it high in the double to avoid the possible conflict with the dart that was already in the single 16. How many times do you think you're about to get it? And you you hit a dart that's in the board somewhere else, but these, you wouldn't think it could interfere and it would still go where you want it to, but it does happen. We see the averages, but Adrian Lewis is the one hitting the doubles. One out of 14. Gary Anderson just cannot buy himself that many darts at one because of Adrian Lewis's scoring, as you can see. 41. Adrian has had 12 darts at double. Gary, only two. That's not enough. 100. Having a very good leg here is Anderson. 60. Got Looks like Adrian was trying to bring his average down a little there. <laughs> it looked like fat 20s to me, Wayne. What was that? Oh, dear. 81. Brilliant. Brilliant shot. What that does for Gary, it was only 81, but it just keeps the, the ball rolling in this leg. It doesn't leave anything awkward. Now, tops to trail by two legs. 
They want to clean this up as well, John. Well, two legs, but he's down only one break. So these, those differentials in leg scores can change very rapidly when you get the breaks to throw. Especially with these two as well. Pace they're playing at. Ding dong between two darting dynamos. That's this is that's exactly the first six darts Anderson needed in this leg. No treble from Adrian, and then he gets the 140. Gary essentially already usurped advantage here. Adrian will not want to get broken in this leg and let the momentum completely slip away from him. And that bounce dart might help his cause. And timing for Gary. It's never a good time, but that wasn't 16. good. There we see, coming up, MVG versus Wes Newton. Glad to see Wes back. For better tonsillitis. Raymond Van Barneveld versus Thornton. And last on, Phil Taylor way! versus Dave Chisnell. We run into the Grand Prix last year. So see Gary hit the second 180. He doesn't even need to hit this 141. He has six starts from here. Adrian, no finish. Treble 10, he's left 32. 89. Oh, it was a single, so 52 left. That'll be a 12 tops, I'm sure. Okay. We shall see what he fences. Oh, he's going the old nine route. <laughs> nine three tops, I like it. That's confidence, Gary. <laughs> Morning, Gary! That's big with Come Lewis sitting on 100 left. Because you have to feel Lewis would have punished that. He's in champion form at the moment. As it is, a great break for Gary Anderson because now he has momentum. He's won two legs, he has the throw, can make a three on the trot, and probably carry that if he holds in the throw here into another break. Buy yourself a, a leg through two curved darts and then start with 41. I mean, I think sometimes as you play a match like this, you build these little scenarios into your head. 16. You have to. You've got to have a vision. Visualize what, what you want to happen. 95. Just listening to Nick Faldo too much about golf. I'm no good at golf either. Lady, it's fair to say that he's just gone off the boil. Well, but he has a chance here at break. This is, he's got control. It's been a lackluster leg by the standards they've set so far. 58. Trebleless from Lewis. Steely determination, isn't there, in the eyes of the flying Scotsman? Got to go. Oh, that's perfect. Another one. Little red bit. Well, you can't beat that for excitement. Double top, though, will excite Gary. Two weeks running now. Gary Anderson has been asked a question. Phil Taylor last week and from Adrian Lewis this week. And the question is, are you good enough? Yes, is the answer. The 97 from Gary last week was, was brilliant to beat Phil Taylor. And that there, the 165 was superb. When a player, when an opponent, John, misses a big finish against you, it can unsettle you, can't it? Sometimes it, it checks you up a little bit. I think when you're sad on tops, it's pretty reassuring. And you've already won the two legs and you're feeling like, ah, he just about got back into this, but he's not going to. I think, though, that what's really positive for Gary Anderson right now is that Adrian isn't struggling to play. He's playing very well. He's, he, he is playing like a champion. And uh, to be level in the match, I think, is a wonderful thing for Gary Anderson. He's, he, as you said, he's answered some questions. Once again. Once again, yes. AD. He was on 97 just two legs ago, he's average. And Gary's has risen. But, you know, and it's not just Adrian going down. It, he's gone down a bit because Gary Anderson has quite successfully stood, withstood his onslaught. 123. There we see the 140 column 
okay too, but great legs, more tons than your opponent. 139, Adrian Well, that's why maybe you go for 19's first start. Gary getting a bit caught along with the pace of this game. Triple 10. 12 for tops. Don't go 9, Gary. That's better. Tops. 42. A let off. Adrian will be very sure of this double top. He knows he got let off. Double 10. 37. Feeling Adrian pressure. I just think the pace has become a bit, made him erratic. That's not erratic, that's superb. Adrian Lewis through the double ten and double top so quick in my opinion. And he knows he's, he's missed the trick, he, he knows that he, he got dragged along by it all. Well, he knows he's being threatened and he's feeling the pressure, he's showing it a little. You would have thought he'd be just a little slower in composed, as you said, and, and made sure of that. But Because uh, he'd already just got let off. So normally, that's a situation where someone playing well slows it down and says, aha, I've got it. But not in this case. And to hold his throw here, Gary can assure himself a point. At the moment, not just because he's leading by 5-4 in legs, but... Gary Anderson is playing the better darts. He has done since 4-2 down. Scoring well, hitting doubles. This is the Gary Anderson we like to see. He's a real danger whenever he has this, this mindset, this mentality of being a champion again, because that's what he is. 42. Well, should Gary win this leg to get 6-4 ahead. I wouldn't count Adrian out of trying to get a tie here. He will fight himself and he'll be having the throw next leg. So, this is not over by any means. Massively unlucky dart there from AD on the last one. It's his combination again. Well, four from nine on tops. It's a lot to ask at the best of times. Treble 19. No. 89. Got to ball. Gary, relax now. Double top. For one point at least. Double 10. It's his turn to look a little nervy. Well, you can tell by the way the first dot double 10 went in just outside. Gary didn't like it. He winced. He's going to wince at that as well. That was the sort of finish I expected from Lewis with the 57 in the last leg. This time, he does convert. He does punish. He has punished him. You are correct. Gary will be thinking, I should have had a point. I've been going for the win. But what do you got to do? Get that out of your mind. And just try and win a point now. And if you can break, then go for the two. Well, Lewis will be going for the kill. He got let off. And he will be trying to take all two points. And that is, you can take it to the bank that he's going to win this leg. And Gary 64. just needs to regroup, really, for the next leg to try and get the draw. Yeah, he seems to have kind of relinquished this leg. Okay, 180 a miss and everything. We know it can turn around, but... I think you're right, John. Gary's got to be thinking, I've got the darts in the next leg, get it done, get the draw, go home. 16. It'll be hard to play for the draw, though, when he already had it in the bank. That's where the pain is, that's where the doubts will come. And Adrian knows, and he's, he's feeling great right about now. Double top. Seven. 20. No real concern. I'm sure he would have rather hit the top, so because he hasn't looked very convincing on the 32 segment down there. He's only hit it, he's only hit it once from, from eight darts. But that's better. Adrian Lewis secures a point. If he can beat Gary, and we'll move into a playoff spot. Let's see. Well, from what we've seen so far, I'd say both players deserve a point out of this. But uh, 
Cheeky Easy Lewis ball. could probably take them both. Very nose. It's likely that maybe a 140 ton ton. We'll give him a shot at double. Looking likely now. You just feel that one big score. Whoever hits it first will win this leg. Well, we've seen it a few times in this match where Gary gets one dart for double before Adrian gets his opportunity, and I have sort of the feeling that's going to happen again. We'll be down to that whether Gary hits that one dart or not. The well, lady will be disappointed. 61st dart and only hit a ton. It's the standard these guys play at. 57 leaves 24. What a simple game. 139. It's on 62 again. Yeah, it might have been better off going for bull that last dart. Get himself to at least the two darts for double. He's, he set up the scenario I was just talking about. He might only get one 62. dart for double. Four, a draw. Single one for double eight. That's the easy bit. Double eight. 54. The likelihood is that he will return, but nothing is certain. Yeah, well, he's lucky Adrian missed there because for how he scores, 136 is a pretty natural out. Double two. And he's shaking his head up. If I'm Adrian Lewis, I'm fancying him missing this. The body language was not good. Four. An unlikely win. Gary Anderson, massively unfortunate there, massively. Missing doubles for a draw twice. But in the end, Adrian Lewis beats Gary seven legs to five. The week from heaven continues for Jack Park. Coming up, we have Michael Van Gerwen versus Wes Newton.